The assassination of Ishmael Haniye has brought new intensity to the ongoing conflict. The war between Israel and Hamas has been raging for nine months, taking a severe toll on both sides. This latest development raises more questions. Why did it happen? And what does it mean for the future of this conflict? In this video, I will explain all that you need to know. Hamas spokesman and deputy head Khalil Ahaya announced that Haniye was hit directly by a rocket in the room where he was staying in Tehran. Ahaya stated that Hamas military wing, the Al Qasim brigades, would not let the killing go unaccounted for. Earlier in the day, Iranian state media reported that. Haniya was killed by an airborne guided projectile, though it was unclear what form it took. Interestingly, Israel has not claimed responsibility for Haniya's death. Speaking at a press conference in Iranian capital, Ahaya said Israel would pay the price for the heinous crime of assassinating Haniya. Haniya was the second figure of an Iran-backed group assassinated in the past day. Following the killing of a senior Hezbollah commander in Lebanon by Israel, Israel has sought to show that it can get anyone and anywhere. It has assassinated leaders of Hamas and key operatives since the group was founded in 1987 during the first Palestinian uprising against the occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. But let's take a step back and understand the role of Mossad in these operations. Mossad, the Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, is the National Intelligence Agency of Israel. It is one of the main entities in the Israeli intelligence community, along with Amman and Shin Bet. Mossad is responsible for the intelligence collection, covert operations, and counter-terrorism. Its director answers directly and, and only to the Prime Minister, with an estimated annual budget of around 2.73 billion dollars and employment of about 7,000 employees yearly. Mossad is one of the world's largest espionage agencies. The organization is alleged to have been involved in many assassination plots across various locations. Iran vows to avenge the killing of Hamas political leader Ishmael Haniye, who died in an overnight airstrike. Tehran. In a televised statement, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country is prepared for any scenario and stands determined against any threat. Subscribe if you find this video informative. See you in our next video.